हेलो स्टूडेंट्स लेट अस कंटिन्यू चैप्टर नंबर थ्री सो टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू स्टार्ट द नेक्स्ट टॉपिक दैट इज सुभाष चंद्र बोस एंड आजाद हिंद फौज सुभाष चंद्र बोस वॉज बॉर्न ऑन ट्वेंटी थर्ड जनवरी एटीन नाइन्टी सेवन इन कटक उड़ीसा हिज मदर्स नेम वॉज प्रभावती एंड फादर्स नेम वॉज जानकी नाथ बोस Since childhood, Subhash Chandra Bose was very intelligent. He stood fourth in the ICS exam held in London in the year 1920. Then he came to India and joined Indian National Congress. He also participated in the freedom struggle movements. He was caught eleven times as a political prisoner. In 1938. ce he became the president of congress in haripura congress conference again he became the president for the second time in tripura congress conference held in 1939 ce however differences in opinion occurred between him and the party and so he resigned from his post of president So in May 1939, Subhash Chandra Bose formed his own political party and named it Forward Bloc. During the same period, the Second World War started in Europe. Forward Bloc did not want Indians to be pushed in the war by the British, and so it started anti-war propaganda through. pamphlets hence the british arrested and imprisoned subhash chandra and his companions subhash chandra was started fasting in the jail he fell very ill and so the british released him however he was kept under house arrest but on 17th january 1941 he fooled the british and fled he dressed differently to hide his identity and reached berlin via peshawar kabul and moscow he reached berlin and shocked the british by delivering a speech on radio from berlin he went to japan via sumatra now student for your knowledge you can go through things to know given in your textbook now the next topic is as the chief of azad hind fauj that is indian national army an indian soldier from the british army captain mohan singh formed azad hind fauj that is indian national army with the help of indian soldiers who had surrendered to japan as war prisoners due to differences of opinion between japanese government and ras bihari bosh Mohan Singh had to resign the future of Azad Hind Fauj that is Indian National Army became blurred with a general consent Ras Bihari Bose appointed Subhash Chandra Bose as the chief of Azad Hind Fauj on 4th July 1943 he was given the honorary title of Netaji and Netaji gave the slogan चलो दिल्ली एंड जय हिंद टू द फौज एंड द नेशन नाउ ही टूर द कंट्रीज ऑफ साउथ ईस्ट एशिया एंड अपील द इंडियंस लिविंग देयर टू सेक्रीफाइस एवरीथिंग फॉर द फ्रीडम ऑफ द कंट्री ही सेट टू द पीपल यू गिव मी ब्लड एंड आई विल गिव यू फ्रीडम दिस स्लोगन गेव अ न्यू इम्पीटर्स टू द फ्रीडम स्ट्रगल Now, student, you can see the picture given in your textbook. Subhash Chandra Bose and comrades of Azad Hind Fauj. Now, the next topic is provisional government. Subhash Chandra Bose established Arzi Hukumat-e Azad Hind, that is, acting government of Free India, in Singapore in October nineteen forty-three. He took charge. as the chief of the army 
this government declared a war against england and america now the role of azad hind fauj azad hind fauj was reorganized by subhash chandra bos after he became the chief of the arzi hukumat e azad hind proper training was given to the soldiers and the azad hind fauj was divided into various battalions now azad hind fauj was divided into four main battalions of sorry by subhash chandra bos and was named as gandhi subhash nehru and azad respectively a special and a separate battalion named jhansi ki rani constituted only of females and was led by captain lakshmi sahgal azad hind fauj secured victory at various fronts in the eastern border of india like arakan and imphal later on the fauj was forced to retreat due to the shortage of food supply and heavy rain america dropped the nuclear bomb on japan and japan surrendered the dynamics of the war changed and the future of the azad hind fauj became hazy 4000 soldiers died and 25000 soldiers were arrested now netaji had taken a vow that he will not enter in the subjugated india netaji left rangoon and bangkok and moved ahead by air as per the reports published by the japanese government his plane that took off from taipei airport of Formosa on 18th August 1945 crashed and Netaji got seriously injured and later died now student i hope you have understood this chapter thank you